Today we will be going through the full process of how to disassemble an Xbox 360 developer kit, back up the hard drive, and recover data from the backup. There are different developer models and some have easy to get to hard drives like the Slim Dev Kit where the hard drive is located in the bottom of the Xbox, or like a Demo Kit where they have a normal Xbox hard drive case on top. Most likely you will have a typical FAT Dev Kit or Test Kit. And with these, the hard drives are deep inside the sidecar located on top of the kit. This method will involve taking the entire kit apart. Some advanced users have gotten skilled enough to get into their sidecar without taking the entire console apart, but you can risk tearing a cable or breaking something else. Before we start opening the dev kit, let's go over the tools the software needed. For software, Hard Drive Raw Copy Tool, which is a program to back up and restore hard drives and Aerosol's FedEx tools. This tool allows you to look at the image backup and restore deleted data. And also make sure you have a little over 120 gigabytes free on your computer. For hardware, I recommend an Xbox 360 opening tool, or you can use a plastic spudger or a flathead screwdriver, but you risk scratching your case if you use a screwdriver. A Torx 8 and Torx 10 screwdriver, a SATA to USB adapter to connect the hard drive to your computer, or you can even use an extra SATA port inside of your computer. And these are optional, but some tape and pliers. To start, take the faceplate off your XDK by grabbing it from the bottom and pulling. Set your XDK on its sidecar, and take your Xbox opening tool or a small screwdriver and poke in the holes towards the ends and in the middle of the grill to get one side off. Go to the other side and do the same to get the grill off completely. You will now want to unclip the sidecar. Be very careful not to yank this out as it has wires that are not very long. Start with the back and usually you can see shiny tape on the ends of the feet of the sidecar if you look inside the Xbox vent holes. Poke the tab in the back and slightly pull the sidecar out. When you do the same for the middle while holding the sidecar slightly out, flip it over and do the same and you will feel the entire sidecar kind of pop out of place. Pull this straight out just a little bit as the cables are underneath of it and there's still a hard drive cable attached. Make sure the Xbox is laying with the rubber feet up. Go to the front of the case. You may need to cut the security sticker here if you haven't before. Pop the clips on the front of the case and carefully flip it around to the back. With the opening tool, you want to press it in the slots and pry apart. This XDK has been opened a bunch so it's really easy, but if your XDK hasn't been opened this part can be very tough. If your sidecar legs are still stuck, now's the time to get them out. Your sidecar can come out just enough for the legs to pop out of the main case completely. These legs are fragile and unfortunately they do snap off. If this does happen, just take some super glue and reattach. You should now have one half of the main case off. You will need a torque screwdriver. Take these screws out. These are the only ones you will need to take out to get the other side of the case off. Now gently flip it over and you can take the DVD drive button off. Then the other half of the main case will come off. There is a metal heat shielding that is underneath the main case so just fill around and slide it off. It will take a little bit of time. Take the DVD drive out. Do this by lifting from the front and unplugging the two cables from the DVD drive itself. This is where I recommend some tape. If you tape the two cables from the DVD drive, then meant to remember that they are from the DVD drive, the other cables will be easy to put back together later. Now take out the other cables. There should be five cables to unplug from the board. Four are close together and you will need to bend the cables with one hand and get to the fourth plug. The fifth cable is by the power plug-in with a red tip.
Now that every cable is unplugged, go ahead and slowly take the cables out. For this I don't have a good method, but just slowly feed them out. Once you get one of the plugs out, they will all come out a little bit easier. With the sidecar completely free from the Xbox, you can set your Xbox aside and I would recommend cleaning it well and giving it a new thermal paste and also give the plastics a good clean. With your sidecar in hand, you will have to take the cover off. I usually pop one end out of place, then work down one side and pop the other end out. The shell will slide off. You will need to take off four screws. After you take those out, you need to separate the two boards. They are connected by two plugs and a small cable. You need to pull the top board straight up and once it's out of the connectors, flip it over gently. You can see the small cable. It's up to you to remove this cable, but I never do. You have four more screws now holding the hard drive onto the board. Remove those and slide the hard drive out. There will be two plastic levels under the hard drive, so don't lose those. We can now set the hard drive aside and move to our computer to get ready to back the hard drive up. Take the hard drive and hook it up to your USB adapter. Before you connect it to your computer, you need to make sure that your PC does not auto format it. This is very important because if you format your hard drive before backing it up, you pretty much have lost the data and probably have changed the hard drive file type from FATX to NTFX, which is definitely what we do not want to do. Another thing to do before you plug your hard drive in is to open hard drive raw copy tool. Take note of all your drives and their size. This is to help you identify the proper hard drive. Now close raw copy tool. Plug your hard drive in, open raw copy tool and you will now see the Xbox hard drive, probably around 120 gigabytes. Highlight that then hit continue. On the next screen this is very important. Click on the bottom option that says double click to open file. From here select the location for your hard drive to back up to. Remember they are normally around 120 gigabytes in size so have at least that much room. After you choose the location and name choose continue. You will now be on the final Are You Sure screen. Make sure your target hard drive and location are exactly what you want, then hit start. This process can take over an hour. When the bottom bar is done and it says hit start again, this means it's done and so go ahead and close the program. If you now look where you selected to save the new image, it will be there. This is a one for one backup of your hard drive and it's ready to be looked at for any data. Now that we have a backup of the hard drive, we can look at its contents. For this, we need to use Aerosol's FATX tools. FATX tools is a data recovery program for the FATX file system like the original Xbox and Xbox 360. Go ahead and open up FATX tools, go to file, Open image and select the image file we created earlier. If you are working directly with your hard drive, you can select open device and select the connected hard drive instead. It will take a few seconds to load in. For me, I have almost nothing on this hard drive. You can see some stuff here in the dev kit folder as well as the media and cache folder. The dev kit folder is usually the most important one. 
Let's say we wanted to save the dev kit folder. All we would have to do is right click on the folder and then select the save selected option. To scan for deleted files, we need to right click inside the file explorer and select one of these two options. Run metadata analyzer, which scans for abandoned file metadata and run file carver, which scans for files based on their format. I'm going to choose metadata analyzer. It took me about 20 minutes to scan the image. After it completes, you can see we are in a new screen called the recovery view. Here we can see all the clusters the tool has found. This is where we can go through and find files and recover them. This hard drive has had programs and builds that I put on recently. So although we won't be recovering any cool unreleased builds, we can recover a deleted program I put on here last year. We can right click the cluster and select recover. Let's check where we saved the deleted files to and here's the folder. Inside we can see the files and they have been successfully recovered. There's a few more things you can do with this tool like look at a cluster view to show you where the data is exactly on the hard drive. So maybe in a future video we will cover this tool in depth. So in conclusion, we learned how to take a fat Xbox 360 developer kit apart including the sidecar, how to back up the hard drive, and how to recover data from the backup. In XDK Guides 2, we will put the developer kit back together and set it up with our computer.